Hello. We are coming to you live from the phone right now because the computer is downloading some stuff and I don't want to mess it up. I got a product review for you. Somebody sent me some goodies in the mail that I want to share with you. This is a farmer. He is from, I think, Janesville, Wisconsin. He had a long day. So it's a... Uh, Long, long day. Janesville, Wisconsin. Yeah. So, uh, the name of the farm is Poor Richard's Farm. It's 100% grass-fed beef sticks is what they sent me. I've got a teriyaki one here. A Tex-Mex one here. A barbecue one here. And an original one here and these are available to you as well you can go to the website and actually purchase your own they're looking to increase online sales and he said I'll send you some products so you can check things out for yourself and you can share it with your viewers um, people are always looking for grass-fed grass finished uncured products and this is one of them uh, they sent me a bunch of paperwork here explaining the product and I'm going to kind of go through that with you. He says, why the label doesn't say grass fed? I can personally attest that the beef in the beef sticks 100% grass fed and we market them as such to reflect the quality. When we started production in Pebble, they already had a line of beef sticks from another farm, Jordan Farm. They unfortunately went out of business. And our product line was uh, mothballed until it was offered to us. Instead of going through the process of getting new labeling approved by the state, we just went with the labeling that was already approved and simply changed the logo. We are going to change that in the future with a total label design and add nutrition info, but for now we're just keeping it simple. This is our only second batch of sticks produced. They sent me four of the barbecue beef sticks, four of the hickory beef sticks, four of the teriyaki, and four of the Tex-Mex. Um, these are by no means tiny. These are really thick beef sticks. And the quality doesn't look like anything that you see in the store. I mean, the stuff in the store usually is like dried out and stuff like that, or it's just, it looks like it's from a store. This looks nothing like it's from a store. Super, super high quality, really nice color, vibrant color. It's got all the ingredients on the label here. No MSG, beef, sea salt, water. It does have a little bit of turbinado sugar, spices, including red and black pepper, celery, coriander, mustard, a little sugar in it. I think these are one to two grams of carbs per stick. I think that's what they're listed as. I've been adding a little bit more carb into my diet anyway, so it's something that has been making me feel a little bit better. So this is kind of why I'm making an, an exception for these, but um, very clean though. It's not like any kind of junk. Contains dehydrated garlic, lactic acid, starter, culture, vinegar, stuffed in collagen casing, no nitrates, no nitrites and added for, uh, except for those curing naturally in the celery. Just really nice aesthetic labeling and packaging all the way across. Very, very, very nice. Uh, let me try to turn this around and give you guys a different image of it. Up close and personal, huh? So let's get on with the paperwork. There's more here. Actually gave me um, a complete listing of the breakdown, the processor that he uses to process his meat. 
So there's the zestery hick, z zesty hickory flavor. 11 grams of protein, 4.5 grams of fat, 1 gram of carb. And uncured snack stick, barbecue. Um, the barbecue has a little bit more carb to it, and there's 5 grams of carb in one of the barbecue ones, which naturally I would expect that. Uh, 10 grams of protein, 4 grams of fat. And then in the teriyaki one, there is 11 grams of protein, 3 grams of carb, and 4.5 grams of fat. And then in the Tex-Mex, it is 11 grams of protein, 2 grams of carb, 4.5 grams of fat. And the zesty hickory flavor, it's got 25% daily vitamin C, 4% vitamin A, 2% calcium, 4% iron. Um, the text mix has vitamin A, 15%, vitamin C, 6%, calcium, 2%, iron, 4%. And then they just gave me basically a complete breakdown of what's in each product per what they sent for me. So in case anybody ever asked for me or I had the information myself, I could share it with you guys exactly. Um, let's try it. Let's try the original first. Nice packaging too. This is not some just cheap packaging or whatever. It's, it's really nice. It's actually pretty, pretty basic, but very, very good quality at the same time. Smell is really good. Mm hmm. I like that it's not greasy, like when you bite into something, grease just gushes out of it. I like that it's got a meaty texture, but yet it's not. It's not tough to chew. Um, I like the fact that you can see. The different parts of the animal that's used in there like you can see some of the fat chunks and stuff like that or maybe what might be the gristle or tendon or something like it's you know an all-natural product it's delicious absolutely delicious wow it's really good high quality wisconsin beef jerky or beef stack snack sticks it's not even really i don't know that i would really even call that jerky just for the simple fact that it just feels like you're actually eating you know it's it's a snack but it's like you're eating a, a quality meal now this is the the tex-mix flavor mesquite smoked i'm going to try this one now Tough to tear, huh? There we go. Really nice smell. Not dry. It's got just a light coating of like juiciness on the outside, which I love that. Oh, wow. I can taste the pepper. I can taste the spices. I can taste... You get that just a little bit of garlic taste, that peppery taste, what what would make it like a Tex-Mex flavor. That's delicious. It really is. It's absolutely... Look at the inside. The inside is just freaking perfect, man. I wish I could zoom in on the front-facing camera. Let me see if I can switch it around to the other camera. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's working any better. But absolutely delicious. One more, one more. That's good stuff. Gainesville, Wisconsin, guys. So, what better way right now than than to support local? I mean, that's what we should be doing right now with what we're going through anyway, supporting local. So, I would. 
I will post the link to their website in the comment section and in the description of the video. So you guys could jump on there if you're interested and maybe get you an order of them or Let's try this barbecue one. Okay, I've been waiting on this barbecue one. Barbecue is like my favorite. Nice smell. Again, nice juicy coating on the outside. Just real light, thin, moist layer. It's good stuff, man. This is really good stuff. Heck yeah, man. Wow. This is really good. Switch it around right here so you can. Well, let me do my last taste. I want one more bite of this barbecue, though. And that barbecue is phenomenal. I saved the teriyaki for last because usually teriyaki is a really strong flavor. And I wanted that to, to be my last flavor. So let's see. Oh yeah, it smells, smells exactly like, each one of them has smelt exactly like what the label says. Mm-hmm. This has a really mellow teriyaki flavor. It's not something that just bite that jumps out at you and says, okay, it's loaded with teriyaki. This is very, very, very mellow. Really good. Love the way the inside. I mean, I could eat a couple of these for a meal and be completely satisfied. I wouldn't have to make a separate dinner or something. So, we're going to spin you around now. see what we got here he's got a Facebook right here poor Richards farm home Facebook and then he's got poor Richards farm quality beef sticks let's click on this one right here localharvest.org and it's just basically poor Richards farm was started by Scully family in the two thousand. 2015, we're a 36-acre farm in rural Wisconsin. We believe in sustainable agriculture and practice, practice intensive rotational grazing with a herd of dextra cattle. In addition to our beef sticks, we sell individual cuts of frozen beef from our farm and at, our lo at, our, and at local farmer markets. We also sell beef in bulk and are able to accept orders on custom processed whole, half, or quarter steers. If you're interested in the farmer's market, I mean, when everything opened back up, it would be Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. I hope this is an updated schedule. If it's not, I will update it. Um, contact information here, it says Rick Scully, 608-295-2574. It's in Janesville, Wisconsin. There are almost 2 million farms in the U.S. About 80% of those are small farms and a large percentage are family-owned farms. More and more of these farmers are now selling their products directly to the public. They do this via CSA programs, farmers markets, food co-ops, you picks, farm stands, and other direct marketing channels. Would you like to support your local farmer? Use our map and then it'll take you where you can go to find it. Let's go back here just click on the quality beef sticks go to their main page here you can get your email subscriptions here when you click on the website 
Very nice, homey, basic. I bet you you get them pretty quick, Leo. There's the teriyaki beef sticks. Barbecue beef stick. Original hickory. Tex-Mex. Go to the bottom, click here on shop. You can buy them in 10 packs, 24 pack. Or flavor four pack only. I'm sure that you probably make them however you want them. You can get big giant packs of them. You could, if you wanted to contact them, you could order beef through them from them as well. I bet they could find some kind of way to get it to you if if you well, I don't, I can't make that promise for them, but I know for sure the beef sticks. Um, let's look at here. And Leo, it, it didn't matter if you wanted them, I'd get them sent to you so I could get them from them, from them. And then I will send them out to you if that's the case as well. So it just all depends on what you want. So, let's see, let's go back, let's go check out their Facebook. Oh, yeah, snap into a Slim Jim. Except these are like 10 times better than Slim Jims. Way, 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 way better. If you want, you go check them out on Facebook, Poor Richard's Farm. I'll leave that Facebook link in the description of this as well. Uh, you can go, you can shop. I'm sure if you wanted meat or something like that, you'd have to specify. I mean, like they said, they're just kind of getting rolling with all this. Agupdate.com. That's old Richard with, let's go back there. That's old Richard with his cows. I mean, when a farmer can get down with them cows like that, pet on them and love on them and stuff, I mean, you know they're taken care of. You can go here and find the story and stuff like that. But he wanted to run his own small business and live in the country, he said. He was now achieved those goals, owning and operating Poor Richard's Farm near, near Janesville. I was bull hunting in September 2011, and I had a sudden revelation. I needed to become a farmer, he said, and it made perfect sense. I loved being outdoors. I liked fixing stuff and operating different kinds of machinery, and I thought big animals are cool. Running a farm was a small business of which I could be proud. I was absolutely certain this was the vocation for me, even though I knew practically nothing about it, he said. So he participated in a two-year farming business management course at Stainline Farm Beginnings, part of the Angelic Organics Learning Center of Caledina, Illinois. Or, I don't even know how to say that, Caledonia, Illinois, whatever. The course taught him how to develop a business plan. He read extension publications from several universities were especially helpful for learning about pasture mixes and cattle weight gain. He also read farm publications and went to the library or searched the library's catalog for starting a farm and found the call numbers for Joel Salatin's book, You Can Farm. He said, I read it cover to cover. That book started my, edu started my education in agriculture. 
Scully served two internships before renting a Janesville area farm from Rick Richard. Richard is the managing partner of RD Worldwide Incorporated, an employee search for staffing company based in Janesville. Scully and his wife, Jennifer Scully, a first grade teacher, began in 2014 renting the farmhouse and the 35-acre farm. The fruits of their labors have resulted in being able to recently purchase the farm. The Scullys were great renters and are a great family, Richard said, and I was happy the farm was going to be kept as a beef operation. Rick is on the right track with mob grazing and grass-fed production. Scully refers to the former landlord as Rich Richard and to himself as Poor Richard, hence the name Poor Richard's Farm. That's the basics. So, y'all get on there and buy some of these beef sticks. And if you need me to get these beef sticks sent out to you and you can't get them directly from them uh, then we can exchange monetization and i'll get them sent to you but i've got some of these beef sticks here now and i'm going to enjoy them i might i might be inclined to share some of these with some of these guys but you all got to get on that website check them out show them some support they're local they're American companies. It's a grass-fed, grass-finished product. Get on there and check them out. Okay, guys. That's the end of the review for now. Unfortunately, I'm stuck to doing these on my phone at the moment while the computer is doing all the stuff it does. Or else I would have had it pulled up on there. I wanted to get this out right away so we can help them out and get a good product in the process. Good to nourish our body and show our, our, our body some appreciation for good quality food. And that's exactly what this is. So thank you all. You have a blessed night. Take care. If you need to get a hold of this product and you can't get a hold of it directly from them, get a hold of me and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Be blessed.